like hello angels okay so welcome back to today's video um i was gonna try and film like a really happy video but my mood isn't in the best of places and i don't want to cry i'm not gonna cry but i feel like it's the right time to talk about my eating disorder um i'm doing it in like a little um like story kind of thing like series if that makes any sense so i'm going to be talking about my depression which i've already talked about um, and then I was going to talk about my anxiety in another video. That will be next week's video. So, um, yeah, I feel like it's just best to start it off and get, like, going. I've had to change three times because I feel like I look fat in every single outfit that I wear. And I'm wearing something that you cannot see my, like, weight in. Because I just feel so shit about my body. And I don't want to cry about it. I really don't want to cry. But yeah, this is my eating disorder this, um, story time. So I hope you enjoy and, you know, learn a bit and maybe you'll be a bit kinder to people because you don't know what they're going through. So yeah. So my eating disorder started when I was about 11. Um, my mum started dating nasty john in my last video um and he would call me fat um he used to pick on me um he told me you're gonna eat the rest of that because i don't think you need to um and then at school i started to starve myself at primary school this was because I just wasn't happy with my weight at all. Um, imagine hearing that about four times a day at home and then having to go to school to go and eat food and food is just the most stressful thing for me. Um, just thinking about it, like it kind of really upset me. Um, I never cried on my channel, what the fuck? and it just got worse um so throughout the years i have gone through um when i used to weigh myself a lot when i was younger um and when i say it was extreme i mean i would write down how much i weighed so for example when i was about 14 um i was weighing myself every single day and if i put the tiniest bit of weight on i would starve myself um and i know that some of you are going to be like well that's just a bit weird and a bit wrong i've always just not felt great about my body and i might post pictures of my body on my story because i feel good at the time but have you ever noticed how quickly i remove them because i feel like i've i've watched like shit majority of the time but i'm very good like hiding how i'm feeling majority of the time food is the most stressful thing for me and when I used to weigh myself every single day and if I'd like not lost anything then it was straight away I'd go on a binge eating episode um, and my binge eating episodes can be I don't know why I do it I can't tell you why I can't tell you a reason but it just makes me happy when I do like I, I think I eat because I'm emotionally sad because of everything that I've gone through um and I think I eat because I load I I, I go on a binge eating episode because I just it's food's like my best friend pretty much but when other people have like food as their best friend like they can just eat a bit and then stop I can't so when it's an eating binge eating episode day I could eat I don't know five slices of toast in the morning lunchtime could be a mix of foods but when it's like a proper binge eating day um I can eat between 12 packs of crisps to 16 packs and then about 10 to 16 
chocolate bars and that is not normal so don't even fucking tell me it is because it's not and I know it's not normal and I mean I have I've had so many comments from people saying you don't struggle from an eating disorder why is it so stressful for me then why do I feel like shit constantly about my body I don't think people understand the fact that their words can affect people and um i can look all unhappy on my social media but you don't realize like this is my life this is how i live every single day um and it's just a very hard and stressful thing for me so when i was at secondary school um people would call me a fat slag even though i've only slept with one person so i don't understand how that works um people would fat shame me make me feel like absolute shit i got bullied a lot at school um bullied for being tall which i can't really help bullied for my weight bullied for fucking everything and it was always the boys that were like the popular boys at school and it's just shit when no one likes you and that's part of the reason why I did it as well like why I have an eating disorder because I just want to fit in I guess and um, it carried on throughout school life when I was 16 it got really bad Um it was not good in at all um my eating just was really all over the place and obviously in 2018 that was when i hit my really bad depression um so imagine having really really bad depression on top of that anxiety and then on top of that an eating disorder it's not a good mix um and it's just not really great um last week was the first time i'd weighed myself in i want to say like three four years maybe i don't wait i i don't weigh myself like because it just doesn't do me good and i weighed myself and my grandma said to me how much do you weigh but i told her and she said you're getting a bit fat lucy that really hurt me and then yesterday because obviously the coronavirus is going around at the moment and that on top of that is fucking stressing me out um and i feel like i'm gonna go into a panic mode and have to buy like loads of food like for my eating disorder and i said she said to, and i said to her like i'm gonna need to buy chocolate bars and crisps because what that's what i eat when i go on like a binge eating episode like that's what i go for um and she just said to me, you're getting a bit fat, you need to lay off it. And in the past, she's made comments about my weight and saying how I need to be careful of what I eat because I'm going to end up fat. Um, which I understand that people do end up fat, but to say that to someone who struggles from eating and just food is stressful, I mean... I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm not going to fat shame other people but my grandma's not exactly the skinniest person so she shouldn't be telling me that I'm getting fat because it's like me telling her she's fat she wouldn't like it so why can you sit there and it's like she's it's like she's allowed one opinion for like it's like one opinion for her and one opinion for everyone else like double standards basically and it's just horrible to live with and she's she's a horrible like she can be horrible to me at times like she's not all the, like all the time horrible but she can be a like horrible to me all the sometimes and bully me and make me upset i mean i remember once at dinner when i was with my ex-boyfriend um i he wasn't there at the time but i texted him and we it, pudding came around my grandma said i don't think you should have any pudding because you're already putting it on enough weight imagine having that said to you when you're struggling from an eating disorder and some of you people are going to watch this and you're probably going to think she's very toxic and she's a toxic person but I love her a lot and 
she's always there for me but you can't fat shame someone when you're not exactly skinny yourself like I feel like people need to be more kind and be a bit more careful of what they say to people because you don't know what people are going through behind closed doors and this is one of the things that is very very private matter for me and it's very weird for me to open up on camera and to tell all of my YouTube family pretty much um it's just shit to live with um and when I was mentioning food is stressful for me um I don't like thinking about food like because food is just like I can't you do if you struggle from eating disorder you're going to understand this but I just food is so stressful I will cry about food and it just makes me feel like shit like someone left a comment saying to me that I don't have an eating disorder because apparently I don't have an eating disorder or I put on a story that last Wednesday was the first day that I went without binging or starving myself which I was very proud of myself and someone said but you said you've not done that for in a year how don't fucking twist my like twist my words like I said that I'm proud of myself for not binging or starving myself like for the first time in a couple of years because every single day it's either a starving day or a binging day and there's no in between and I woke up this morning I'm filming this on the 17th of March um which is a Tuesday sorry there's people going by um and it's a binging day today I can already tell when I wake up it's just food 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 and that's how I feel but I feel like it was good to open up and tell you that my life isn't as it seems I'm not the happy happy girl that you might see on YouTube and my life is very different in real life and my dog is staring at me right now um because he wants a walk probably so yeah but please don't hate me she doesn't even live here well, not in my blog sorry um but yeah but don't fat shame people don't make people feel shit just be kind um yeah so i guess this is the end of the video and this is like probably one of the hardest things i've got to open up about because it's i could have bawled my eyes out like crying in this video but i chose not to because i don't want people to see me cry so yeah but i'm gonna leave you and i'm gonna love you and for now goodbye angels